So we know from just like basic practices, it's not just like setting up an LLC that you need to be like concerned about or choosing not to set up an LLC rather. Uh, also, you need to think about your mining hardware itself and how to treat that. And often we've seen miners talk about how you can like depreciate it on some sort of schedule. And I think it'd just be really awesome to get some clarity on how these assets are kind of considered by tax code. Uh, when you purchase them and then you put them in an LLC, uh, what does that depreciation schedule mean in the first place? And then how can you kind of treat it going down the line? In order for you to depreciate anything, first of all, you had to be involved in a trade or business. Uh, so that's that's a, the, the, the number one criteria. The, the other question that I saw is that, okay, can I depreciate if I don't have an LLC? So that having an LLC or not is irrelevant for the depreciation question. What's relevant is what type of business you have, whether it's a trader business or a hobbies. So if you're a trader business, obviously you can depreciate. Um, there are multiple code sections of the IRS code that kind of allows you to write off the cost of these machines. Uh, section 179, uh, bonus depreciation, uh, and also the de minimis safe harbor rule, which allows you to kind of, um, you know, uh, expense uh, anything below 2,500. Uh, if you don't have applicable financial statement, you know, obviously subject to so many other things. Uh, so essentially, if you have a trader business, you can write off these uh, machines in the very first year using Section 179, bonus depreciation or de minimis safe harbor. If not, uh, for whatever the reason, maybe you want to distribute your expenses, you can uh, depreciate over five year time period. So if you spend thousand bucks for a uh, mining machine, you can take $200 deduction uh, uh, you know, from first year to the fifth year.